Well, welcome into the first of the semi-finals here on the Unsquashable Premier League at Squash XL in Auckland. And our two players on court in the black is Joel Ascot. He is ranked 235 in the world. And in the white, it is Elijah Thomas. He's at 257 in the world. Elijah Thomas there, he is just a 17. And Joel Ascot is 20 years old. In fact, he actually lives here at the centre at the moment along with uh, Tim Wajalishi, they've made their base here and uh, been pretty useful for training but it all comes down to match practice doesn't it? and uh, match experience and uh, joining me now for some comments and a few thoughts Leo Fatialova and Leo great to have you with me and uh, you've just really come off the court <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah I just uh, it was a tough match you know, you know Jack can, um, he's really uh, fast around the court and um, you know I couldn't take him easy you know so I just had to try and control the rallies and uh, yeah, paid off, so it's good. Has it been good to be back on the court and play competitive matches? Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit hard because, uh, you know, that eight week break, not hitting the ball, uh, I was a bit rusty, especially uh, yesterday in my match, um, but uh, I guess everyone felt that, um, so yeah. Well, it was pretty cold last night, wasn't it? You know, I mean, I, I know it's you know, getting towards winter in, in Auckland, but compared to when you would have last played, which was almost summertime in New Zealand and now you get the, the cold of last night through to today is a lot warmer isn't it? Yeah yeah last night was uh, the court was pretty dead you know um, just died especially uh, around the front with the drops and um, the boosts so uh, yeah today was a lot bouncier. And against someone like Jack Condor who is very determined on court I'm sure you've played him a few times or at yeah. least seen him play very determined but uh, sometimes a little bit unorthodox. So you've really got to focus, don't you, to beat him? Yeah, um, he's real, like, uh, plays a bit unorthodox. Yeah, you're right. Um, but you just need to really um, structure it and um, just make him move or make anyone move. Just uh, just focus on controlling the rallies with anyone. And, um, yeah, just... So you, but you've enjoyed it so far in your two matches. You had one uh, loss yesterday, but a win today. Been yeah, good yeah. to get out there. Yeah, it was good. The second match was a lot better. So, um, yeah, looking forward to my next match tomorrow against Michael. Yeah, so. In the corner there. And, the, and these two particular players, you're going to see some long rallies, aren't we? Yeah, we are um, both grinders, especially Elijah. Yeah, he loves it. You know, just uh, loves running and I'm um, just getting all the balls back. It's pretty quick too. And uh, just to let you know, uh, Leo, that Shah Roberts has said hello. I'm not sure if you know Shah Roberts, but uh, they have said hello to you. Oh, <laughs> hey, cuz. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's my cousin from Oz, Aussie. Okay, great yeah. stuff. Where, where you come from a big support group yourself don't you there's a lot of uh, your I guess relatives who play the sport yeah I got um my brother uh, who plays upper and uh, Mason who also plays and Maya my niece yeah they're all um squashies and um top in the top in their ranks with their age groups so um yeah pretty lucky to have that it's pretty cool and already went to the long rallies Really efficient with their movement. Yeah. Both just good movers. Um, yeah, just. Yeah. Mm. I'm liking the all white from Elijah. The white shirt, white shorts, white socks. That's what I wore <laughs> yesterday. It's pretty cool. And the white headband. Talk about style. <laughs> yeah, the Finlay <laughs> just saying when you're ready. And good to have viewers from around the world. Hope yeah. you're enjoying some squash for the first time. We had the first round yesterday, and this is the semi finals here, and tomorrow the finals as well. Taking from Joel. Yeah. 
exactly. So what he can do here. Both players taking their time in this rally, not rushing. Yeah. Just being real patient, waiting for the opportunity. Oh, that's, nice finish from Thomas. Yeah, that, that was very patient. And, yeah. I, and I guess that's where, as a younger player, I mean, well, Elijah's not that much older than you, you, you really have to have patience. Don't yeah. You? Yeah, no, um, ones who are patient, you know, they'll just wait for that, for the right opportunity to put it away. Yeah, and that's what I really need to work on as well. Sometimes I just go for it a lot, but um, you know, um, I like I like going for my shots. Like uh, nothing wrong with yeah. it. <laughs> Unforced error from Joel. saw in your particular match Leo was a few days down the backhand side where Jack kept you in that corner for quite a while there was a couple of long long rallies yeah um, yeah it was good um, I just had to just control it down the back you know um, giving myself time to get back to the tee so um, I can look for the volley on the next shot to try and execute that one so um, going down the back I was really just defending and I'm um, giving myself more time so um, yeah, the, that was the, my game, my game plan. Otherwise, just um, mixing it up with the cross and then the boost, and I'm just trying to trying to move him. Oh, what are you Ooh. calling there? Ah, uh, let. Yeah. The ball is pretty tight, but like. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jordan really clear, but it's hard to clear the ball from his position because, um, yeah, he's just stuck. There really hasn't been many calls to the umpire until yeah. we get to this really competitive matches, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good play. Just reset it. Oh, that's tight in the corner. Well yeah. worked that way again by Elijah Thomas. Very efficient with their movement. Very efficient. Play. How do you react when you play a long rally like that and then you just make, you just after 30, 40 shots and then you're like, oh, I let it go. Yeah, well, it's a bit disappointing um, losing a, a 50 shot rally. Uh, you know, you don't want to lose those rallies there. Eh? You want to win because um, it kind of give you a bit of confidence. And uh, if you lose those rallies, you just need to... You know, don't show your opponent weakness. Just um, keep your head up, and uh, hopefully, you don't tell them that you're that you're tired. So uh, you just gotta stay strong for the whole match, I guess. I look oh. at someone like Paul Cole, who can play such a long rally against some of the Egyptian players, and I think, yeah. gee, whether you've won or lost, that it must be so difficult to get your mind focused on the next point because you just yeah. played 60 shot rally or whatever. Yeah. Paul's a beast. He just uh, she can go all day, you know. It's, um, just lives in trains like that, you know. Just yeah. uh, loves it. Uh, you know he can break he can break them down just by running them into the ground, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's one of his strengths. So uh, yeah, I don't think those Egyptians like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nice. Caught Joel off guard. Expected a tight contest, and it really is what we expected. No one's yes. really giving an inch. No one's throwing away points, are they? It's very close, very tight. Nice. Oh. 
beautiful. Like an Al Shabaggy, Al Shabaggy kill shot. One of the very few. Now, just to let people know that these two players both have a PSA world rankings. 235 for 235 there for the man in black, that was Joel Arscott. And uh, in the white, 257 for Elijah Thomas. Elijah Thomas, 17. And Joel Arscott, 20 years old. This whole tournament is focused on some of the best domestic players in New Zealand getting out there and playing matches after seven or eight weeks away and a good play there by Jolan Scott. And certainly Leo Fadialova very tight. Only yes. a few unforced errors so far. Yeah, not too bad. Just, um, you need to make sure they don't... Oh, just like that one, you know. And that one's eight all. You don't want to make those crucial errors at um, those times. Nice and tight. Yeah. Nice variety of play. Oh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Wow. That was a nice hold, trickle burst from Elijah. Well, that's what I'd say about your game. There was a number of occasions where you were able to hold the ball on your racket yeah. very well to disguise which way you're going. Yeah, I, oh, you know, that's. I, I don't like being uh, that guy that just rallies, um, hits the ball down the wall, and just tries to grind it out. I'd like to go for my shots and um, just try and express myself. And um, hopefully it pays off. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to hit it back to yourself, eh? <laughs> Otherwise, it look like an egg. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> nice recovery. Oh, oh. trickle burst. That's a double shot right there. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great angle. Call everyone off guard. Very difficult to do anything against a shot like that. Yeah, you know, it's really unexpected those shots. That's a winning shot. That was too good. Pretty intense set. Yeah. And back with the second game of this, the first semi-final. The unsquashable Premier League here at Squash XL in Auckland. And these two players, Joel Ascott in the black and in the white, Elijah Thomas. And joining me, Leo Fatialova, who was just on the court, well, not so long ago, actually. And Leo, uh, we've got what we expect. A drawn-out but very entertaining contest between those two players. Yeah, it so looks like it's going to be a tight match. Could go to five, could go to four, you don't know. Um, just depends how I think uh, who wants them more, you know. He's going to stay in the rallies and um, make the right choices on court, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, the first game going to Elijah Thomas, 11-9, in around about 10 minutes. And uh, let's just see what develops in the second. Some good touch. Yeah, try to be flick Elijah. Doesn't really go well when you don't make you don't do it properly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you gotta be subtle with it. What we saw in the first uh, game was plenty of touch, good touch, particularly from uh, Elijah Thomas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some from uh, Joel Ascot as well. Looks a bit messy in this set. Yeah. Uh, going for a bit more. And just a welcome to everybody around the world who is tuned in on PSA Squash TV on the YouTube channel. Uh, we realise that in some parts of the world it is very early in the morning in New Zealand. Well, it's about 10 to 5 p.m. on a Saturday. Well, that's a stroke. 
Joel looks angry. He should just play on. So the official here is Heather Finlay. She hasn't had to deal with too many questions so far. This is a semi-final match, so both players wanting to win. Yeah. No PSA points, but prize money. And uh, that will always help it because uh, all of the players here have... Well, they haven't really been able to earn a living for some of them. I mean, you're still at school, so it's not so bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be cool to earn some pocket money if I could. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mind you, I'd probably just spend it eh, once I get it. <laughs> I'm not really good at saving. Uh, your turn will come. Oh. oh. Well played. A little bit unorthodox that shot, but effective. Yeah. And I guess a little bit disappointing for you, Leo, that uh, the Trans Tasman competition plus the World Juniors, World Juniors cancelled, and the Trans Tasman competition should be on later in the year, maybe. But that, that's going to be pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, pretty hard to get the motivation. And, uh, you know, when you have to train for eight weeks because you're not really training for anything. Yeah. But uh, you know, until like December or. Uh, later on in the year, so um, you just need to keep yourself motivated and uh, yeah, just keep training hard. Well, it's also your last year at school, so I guess you have some focus there as well. <laughs> year 13 for you at Auckland Grammar. Yeah, uh, you looking year. forward to getting back to school on, uh, on Monday? Um, I can't say no. So <laughs> 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 no, yeah, no, that's, I actually kind of miss school for some reason. Um, yeah, in a couple of weeks you won't be saying that, will you? <laughs> Yeah, and no, I want to get back to school and um, so I can learn properly because I've been teaching myself at home. Can't really, I'm not really good at doing that. <laughs> I need the teacher to be there to tell me hey, what to do or just to get help. Any particular subjects you like more than anything else? Um, I enjoy economics. Uh, yeah, I like that subject. It's, um, just because... Uh, I just like uh, the economy and how the business works and uh, the government. Yeah, it's Friends quite don't. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. He's got his fishing rod out. Yeah. <laughs> cheeky. Very cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, smirk on his face. Down the middle. Oh. Oh. Reverse post. They love taking their space. It's good. Showing that presence on court. Yeah. Well, there's a little bit of, I'll call it gamesmanship, but the players know how to move and know how to. Move. That was a nice shot from Joel. Yeah. Good hold, B flick. L B special. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. These, these two guys do know how to move around the court, know how to try yes. and influence the, the umpire. Try yeah. and influence the referee. from Joel on the back end. Yeah, the tempo just picked up again. Oh no, I slowed it down. Wait for it. Oh. So, Joel Ascot here has an opportunity. 9-4 up. He dropped the first. Will be 11-9. Ooh, tasty <laughs> neck on the forehand by Thomas. How difficult is a shot like that? Is it just is it just you know how to do it and it just happens naturally or do you plan it? You gotta oh, I love going for the mix say, off the serve, especially if it's there. Yeah. If it's there, you know, just um oh I would I probably wouldn't do it if it was ten all or ten nine. Right. But if uh, if I was up quite, quite a lot, you know, if the opportunity was there and uh, I knew how to do it then I'd just go for it. G 
GT Triple Boost. Well, there you go. That uh, second game there going to Joel Ascot. Uh, another close one in the end uh, with Elijah Thomas coming back a little bit with a couple of audacious shots. And returning now for the third game between these two players in the black, it is Joel Ascot and in the white, it is Elijah Thomas. One game each. The first going to Elijah Thomas, 11 9. The second going to Joel Ascot. Very intense rally. First rally. Yeah, and Leo Fadialofa joining me as we. Well. An interesting match. It's, we expected a long contest, and I think we could be going that way, couldn't we? Yeah, looks like it's going to be a five-setter. Both players have upped the tempo. Especially Joel, he loves the team, man. But don't forget, you can send us a message and uh, say hello to uh, both. Uh, Leo and myself or anybody else watching this stream as well. And hopefully you're enjoying seeing live squash here with the unsquashable Premier League tournaments over the next four weeks. And fortunate that New Zealand has got itself to a stage that can actually stage some sporting events, albeit without crowds. This is the first of the semi-finals, as we said, and uh, the second semi-final will be Timo Chalici up against Anthony Lepper. So far on this one, no one is indicating to me, Leo, that they're going to take it. It's still, as yeah, we expect, 50, anybody's 50. Yeah. Unforced error. It's great to see. Joe loves the hold, hold fully drive. Conflict right here. Joe laughing. <laughs> and, the, and the call from the uh, organizer replay. Uh, I don't know if we can. <laughs> Bit of a request there from uh, Noah Thomas to so they want to shout out. So shout out to Noah Thomas, he's the man making all those TikToks. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Elijah's brother. Yeah. I'll see you at school on Monday, bro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Make sure your socks are up and your shirt's tucked in. <laughs> Grandma Wee. <laughs> oh, there you go. In the meantime, on the court, no TikTok. It is a squash, and it is Joel Ascot looking pretty good in this, the uh, third game. Of course, scores one all. And uh, let's just see. Got a decent lead as well. Yeah. Nice touch. It's good, it's good. Come on the turn. Nice. Getting hold of that tee. Changing the pace again. Using the long effect, slowing it down. Yeah. Giving himself some time. Ooh. Right back at himself. So 
both of these players do have fairly handy PSA rankings, considering that uh, Elijah Thomas is just 17 and Joe Ascott is 20. Unfortunately, a number of PSA satellites and challenges have been cancelled or postponed. But at least this gives competition for people like you as well. It gives you, it gives you tournament play over the next four weeks, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. We need match play, um, especially because of the COVID-19, you know. Um, so yeah, this is a good opportunity to a lot of matches under our belt for um, some other events that may arise in the coming months. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully around New Zealand and Australia there becomes a travel bubble which may help. Yeah, they'll so, be yeah, maybe by August perhaps we may be able to stage something. Uh, maybe not sooner, maybe July. Oh, just tried too much, perhaps. Yeah, left it too late. I thought, but uh, I thought that was the right shot, but I uh, just had to go up. Still got the three point buffer, but no point really getting annoyed with himself. That you're, well, maybe annoyed yeah. with that one actually. You can get annoyed with that. Just ruins your game. And, it, and this is a, the problem with Elijah Thomas. He's just gained a couple of points. And he's not going to throw them away. Yeah, he's got a good lead now. Um, oh, that's a lift. That is a lift. Shout out to Sid Mills from, uh, he's my brother-in-law. Yeah, and shout out to Henderson Squash Club. I think Henderson Squash Club is all related to you. Yep, it's my home. <laughs> That's where it's at. The hood. Ooh. Ooh. Try, to, try, to, try to do a B flick. from Joel. So this is another tight game between these two. I think three point buffer was pretty much what we had as the biggest. You really have to work for every point in this one, isn't it? Yes. No, no, one's, no one's making it free. Three crucial. Doesn't matter if you're 10-8 up game ball or, you know, even when it's 7-6 or 6 or oh, Tight. Yeah. Tight down the side. Oh, that's very tight. Jeez. That is so tight. Okay. Wish we had video referee. That would have helped. Yeah, I, th I think the players are going to understand that if the official is seeing it as you're seeing it as well, and it's, it's hard to yeah. call. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of pressure on the referee, but um, yeah. just, all they need to do is just see as cool as they see it. Retrieving from Thomas. He's a bit unlucky. There we go. Oh. Ooh, just held it nicely and flicked yeah. it off on that forehand. That was very nice. Just above the 10 too. Yeah. Nice hold flick on the forehand. Oh. Joel going for it. Right. 
Oh, oh got it. Got it. Great recovery, but it's going to be tough. Oh, Joel sprinting. Oh, oh no lets. That was a shock. It's hard to call on that one there. Yeah. I think either way you went there, you could feel yeah. aggrieved either way, could you? I think everyone's got their opinions on that goal too, you know? Yeah. But, uh... Nice log from Joel. Yeah. Ooh, good shot out. Hold for the drive again. Oh, just as. a huge rally. Ooh. I mean, it's what a rally. Yeah, it was tight. There's a good use of the lob in there as well, and a couple of shots just staying under the line. And I think Arpa wants a shout out there, uh, Leo. Oh, who, who, who wants a shout out? <laughs> oh, a relative of yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, shout out to my brother Upper. <laughs> oh, what a sad guy not coming to watch me play. <laughs> Just stayed at home. Oh, all good. Yeah. Well, good on you for getting out there and playing two matches so far. You've got a third one tomorrow. And also for helping out with commentary as well. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, no, not quite. Larger asking for a bit there. Yep. Another great game there. And a lot of athleticism from uh, both players. So that is Joel Ascott taking the third game, 11-9. We'll be back very shortly with the fourth game of this, the first semi-final of the Unsquashable Premier League. Uh, back for the uh, fourth game. It is uh, Joel Ascott leading by two games to one at the present time over Elijah Thomas, both players with PSA rankings. Joel Ascott, age 20, and Elijah Thomas, 17. Another 17-year-old who's with me is Leo Fadiolov. And Leo, this particular match, it's so tight. Yeah. Hardly a point in it. And we now have uh, Joel Ascott in the black. Ooh. Elijah Thomas has changed to a blue shirt and white shorts. They've really up the in this set. Nice kill. Straight away, a top rally. I mean, it's a lengthy exactly. rally, but plenty of variety as well. Using that backhand corner. That was all just for one point. Whew, a lot of work there. So people have been asking about uh, the door and who is meant to open the door. And, uh, yeah, there is a system to that. Of course, we've got to keep everything as clean and as hygienic as we can. We are still at level two here in New Zealand. And there are certain rules around that. But uh, squash clubs are able to open as long as they adhere to certain health rules. Uh, shout out to Matu Polos, who's watching from Sid's work. So, uh, yeah. It's good you've got a lot of supporters from uh, where, Australia, from all sorts of different places as well. It's yeah. good to see them watch the squash. <laughs> Also, shout out to my friend uh, Ethan, Ethan Vizakili. I'll see you tomorrow. At, uh, sorry, see you on Monday at school. Well, I think uh, Leo, if you can get all your friends here to actually start playing squash, we can would have uh, the uh, biggest sport in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Just getting squash out there. Yeah, well, that's where uh, John Duggan over here has done a great job of uh, putting squash on the TV. Exactly. Uh, online. Yeah. And having a glass court. Tell me you love playing on a glass court. I mean, it's great to be on... Oh, this yeah. Side, right? It's pretty sick. You know, this is a... Uh, 
uh, first permanent basketball in New Zealand, I think. Um, yeah. So, you know, you don't get this anywhere in New Zealand. It's pretty sick. Um, yeah. And also a gym to train and three more courts. It's an unreal venue. Yes, as we have mentioned, there are limits to uh, gatherings or uh, sporting events. Uh, the Super Rugby Aotearoa, as it will be called, will get underway. Next yeah, I can't month. wait for that. It's yeah, that'll be, be good. good to have different sport. Uh, I Go the Blues. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, with no spectators. And uh, also the same goes with the netball competition as well. No spectators here, just the competitors and uh, just a couple yeah. of other people. It's unusual, isn't it, when you've got no one here? Do, do you feel that when you're out on the court? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yes. I try not to think about it, you know, you just, um, you just play, and, uh, not really, whoever's watching is watching, but uh, you just need to focus on what you're doing, and, um, yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, Joel's got another lead on Elijah, yeah, he's going to have to uh, pick himself up. Three point lead on this one, uh, three point buffer, let's see what he can do here. I don't think he's done anything exceptionally different in this game compared to the others. Perhaps a, a couple of unforced errors, a little bit of impatience from... Yeah. Joel's just um, taking a lot more early and um, upping the tempo, you know. Uh, yeah. I just got it coming back though, you know. He's, um, just fights to the end. Uh, tell me something, uh, Leo. Have you ever played at the Catty Catty uh, Squash Club where uh, Glenn Templeton comes from? I think one time when I went to his house, this was like I think four years ago, I've, I went to the club, but I don't think I played on the courts. I just went to the club. But um, yeah, I've only been there once. I think he spends a lot of time at uh, the Catty Catty Squash Club like you do at the Henderson Squash Club. Oh yeah, just I think all of you guys all spend so much time at squash clubs, don't you? Yeah. If it's not home or school, it's just the squash club, eh? Look at this rally just dropping in that oh, corner so tight. again. It's very hard to see. Ooh, tight squeeze from Chief. Really squeezing the corner. Nice control. Oh, good finish. Oh, oh, and she went for the lit. <laughs> no, you don't oh, I just saying the video replay. replay. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Elijah. Unlike yours. <laughs> we can actually see on the screen that we've got, but uh, that's the same point. Yeah, bit unfortunate for Elijah, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> They're both working so hard. Seven one. Yeah. <laughs> Players are feeling. Oh, it's a bit unlucky. Yeah, just a, just needs to refocus, and get himself back in the match. He's had yeah. his little discussion with the official, and now just refocus. <laughs> We do welcome all people from around the country and around the world watching live squash. That is live squash, folks. Nice to have you with us, and great to have Leo Fatialata, who played his match earlier today. Ooh. What a fluke from Elijah! Let's see what Elijah Thomas can do now to get himself back in this game. I think he's just going to grind, just going to run and run and run. Oh, that was nice. Ooh. Oh. Ah. That was tight from Joel. Yeah. Yeah, there's been, uh, they've really worked that backhand wall and made it so close there. Really worked it hard. Ghost. Oh, there we go, 10 2. 
this fourth game. Jeremiah Scott has really taken advantage. And there's certainly the result he may go through to tomorrow's final. In fact, he does. There we go. That is Joel Scott through defeating Elijah Thomas in uh, four games. 11-2 there. Congratulations there to Joel on his home court as such.